Warning! Hello everyone, I'm the Moy Chicken, and this is Arrow Gauge, and it's going into a d demo sequence. Prowler! Reaper! Arrow Gauge is a racing game. I'll just go ahead. Get back. Alright, so it is a racing game for the N64. Um, who do I want to be? I want to be Shredder. So it is a racing game where you play, you, you use flying cars. It's a game that I really, really always enjoyed, and I feel like, I don't know, I, I've never really he heard anyone else talking about it. It's got like, like it's got um, kind of a weird control system, and it it's very fast in a lot of ways. It's like it when I say it's got a weird control system, it's got like kind of a. What's it gonna do? Uh, I can't get it to work, um, which is, which doesn't which does not bode very well for me. But um, basically, it's got like a boost system. There, uh, I did it, but I boosted into a wall. It's got a boost system that has like really complicated controls, or at least the controls I found were always complicated. And like I'm playing it on easy because. I can only beat anything on easy. It's it's kind of tough, and uh, I don't know. I like it. I think it's really cool, and I thought I would share it with everyone. So we are playing as the the uh, air, arrow gauge car thing. I'm gonna buzz the crowd. Buzz the crowd. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> um, we're playing as uh, Shredder, which is my preferred uh, racer, and um, we're just gonna try and try and get through the get through the Grand Prix. Right now, we are doing a sort of. Uh, placement lap or a qualifying race I guess would be the best way to describe it uh, to decide where we're going to show up and um, it's just really cool I don't know I, like it. there are a lot of things about it which I think are kind of uh, I don't know not really not really the norm maybe I don't know I feel like a, like it reminds me in many ways of Wipeout which is another kind of you know similar game it has like a lot of like interesting design elements like the all the uh, all the interface is really like stylish and and cool looking and it all looks very futuristic and very fast and I think I'm about to beat the race and there we go all right so let's see what I got in so and it looks like I've got a Mountain Dew sticker on the side which I always thought was kind of funny where am I I'm placed two. that's because it probably because I ran to so many things um anyway yeah so we're just gonna play through this um it's a it's a fun game it's very fast in a lot of ways like even though I mean it's faster on higher difficulties of course but even like on the lower difficulty, you can get kind of crazy if you're not careful. Um, there, that was the boost. So the way it works, as far as I know, and I'm probably wrong on this, but this is the way. This is the only way I know knew up to do it. Is you hold Z to bank Z in like a, a a direction, and then you let go of you let go of you let go of Z, you let go of the, the accelerator, then you push the accelerator and Z again at the same time, and you get that little like boost. So that. Shoot! There we go, and that's like on 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 novice difficulty, which is where I'm at right now. That's not really that necessary, but in any on any like higher difficulty it is required, and the <laughs> your opponents are very 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 good at using it. So if you are not good at using it, you're going to lose, which isn't great. Uh, so it's it, it's definitely a skill that the game expects you to pick up very fast, and it kind of makes me wonder like. You know, that's not a very natural behavior for something that is apparently required by the game to, to play it. So I have to assume that's another one of the situations where it's in the manual. If you just don't have the manual, which I never have, um, you know, you just have to figure it out some other way. And of course, this was back during the N64 where the you know, internet was a lot wide. Wa well, the internet was widespread, but I guess game through walk game walkthroughs weren't widespread yet. Let's see, I'm on lap number two to go and I'm as you can see I'm pretty handily handily winning this again because it's on novice but excuse me anyway yeah it's it's just got a lot of cool things like I love the tubes so they're these they're these you know little arrow tubes and when you when you get near like a wall or any any sort of like sloped surface you may notice that my jets turn from blue to red I believe that means you slow down a little bit um, and you kind of like lock onto it. So for the most part it's not beneficial, but inside inside of tubes, you kind of need to. Um, like I've, I've seen the computer kind of go into tubes and, and, and not, you know, have any problems. And here we go, gonna win! Boom! Goal! Position one! Um, yeah, I've seen, I've seen the computer go like right in the middle, but I can't do it. I always get, I always get stuck to the sides. Uh, look, I mean, look, look at how cool like everyone's like logos are. 
and, and you've got like uh, like branding on your vehicle. It, it really just sort of feels like a future, futuristic race. I don't know. I really, I really like I like the fact that I'm I, apparently I'm I'm working for Mountain Dew. That's cool. Sponsored by Mountain Dew, apparently. Um, I forgot that I had to do another qualifying or, or qualifying thing. I guess you have to do that every time. That's a little strange, but so now we are on Bikini Island, which is most notorious to me at least because uh, it has the longest tubes. So we are going to make everyone sick. Go inside. Go inside the cockpit. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, where's the sky? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody's sick out there. Here we go again. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so if you go into the cockpit, it's uh, it's something else. But, um, but it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is what I remember this level most for, is just the, the long tube and how uh, how crazy it can get. Because, like, once you're... once Oh, okay, you see over there on the right, that temperature gauge? I maxed out. Every time you do... Um, every time you try and, like, do the little boost thing, uh, it raises your temperature. You can get about two boosts before you uh, completely max it out. Um... But right, you know, see, I'm still at full temperature. It's going to take me a little while to get it back down. So that's a little unfortunate. Another thing about the tubes. So as I, as I was trying to say, and kind of failing to say, ooh, pretty green stuff, yeah. Um, as I was trying to say and kind of failing to say, the, when you're in a tube, your controls become kind of wiggly. Um, you know, you, the, the game kind of locks. Oh, position one. Very good. I figured that was a pretty good race, especially for novice. Again, especially for novice, I'm playing on easy mode. I will admit that. But um, when you're in the tubes, you kind of get stuck, I guess, for lack of a better term. What? Oh, oh, shoot! I did that wrong. Uh, I was holding the wrong button. Well, that's that's okay. <laughs> I was I was holding the uh, the bank button instead of the brake. So. The way you get sort of the boost in this game, it's not like Mario Kart or something like that, where you um, you have to push at a right at a specific time. In this one, you uh, you hold the brake and the accelerator at the same time, and then when it says go, you let go of the brake and you shoot off. And it's kind of cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, so when you get when you go through a, t a tunnel, you get stuck to the walls. Your controls become a lot more like slippery, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, and it, it's just kind of challenging to accomplish. But um, there are a couple of things you can do. Like, you may have noticed um, in that little narrow tube right there at the end of the... Uh, right there at the end of the race, every time I go to the... Like, I stick to the bottom and then take off right at the end, I think you get just a little bit of a boost when you do that. Not 100% sure, but I'm fairly certain that's the case. So that's, that's why I keep doing that. But... Uh, am I, I'm maxed out again. What the heck? I <laughs> keep doing that. I wonder if this this particular uh, racer has like a um, really low like uh, threshold for overheating. I'm not sure, but yeah. So I go down here, speed up, and let go, and fly out of there. Um, I'm only in fourth. I'm really not doing that well. I I, I remember using this particular racer, but uh, maybe it's not as good as I remembered it being. Uh, I, I'm maxed out again. What the heck? Oh well, whatever. Um, if I come in a lower place, that's fine. I, like the the game actually gives you a a safety position during like you like the basically the position you have to do better, like do at or better than to be allowed to continue to the next race, which is kind of neat. I don't know. I feel like that's something you don't really see very often. Like usually you uh you're allowed to continue to the next race even if you don't necessarily do very well. Uh, come on, yes! Alright, well, position two, goal! That's still okay. Let's see, this has been going on for about ten minutes. I'm going to break this into two sections just to increase the, uh, what do you call it? Suspense. There you go, suspense in the Novice Cup. So, I hope you'll come back and join me. I'm the Word Chicken, this is Arrow Gage. Thanks for stopping by.